What's going on guys, Edgar here with LifestylesDefined.com here to bring you a quick look at the keyboard in Windows 10 mobile preview. Stay tuned. If you're taking me serious. All right, so here's the keyboard. I have it open in WhatsApp. Uh, one of the first things that uh, you can do with the keyboard is actually move it up and down. So all you have to do is hold down the space bar and you can drag it up, leave it up there if you want, here, here, or any position that you want. And if you leave it up here, you can still type and obviously the text will appear there, which is really cool. Uh, the other thing that you can do with this keyboard is uh, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you can move the keyboard to the left or right. And you can do that by simply holding down on the language key here. Here towards the middle, you'll see the keyboard for right-handed go all the way to the right and you'll notice that the the keyboard actually shrinks towards the right now we'll move it to the left and now the keyboard shrinks towards the left so it makes it easier for you know people that don't have big hands to type one-handed that's something that's obviously been um, not an issue with the 1520 but obviously it is a big device and so a lot of uh, people, a lot of users have been having issues uh, being able to type one-handed. Uh, but this is obviously a really welcoming feature, uh, something that I think a lot of users will enjoy, especially those of you that um, you know are getting the 1520 or that have had the 1520 since day one. Let's go to move the keyboard back into its standard position. The other really cool thing that you can do is uh, change the size of the keyboard. Uh, so we can go into settings uh, Languages also of course you have I have English Spanish for languages you can also add more keyboards if you want and I didn't want to click on that, but let me just exit out, uh, but yeah, you can add more languages there uh, if we go into advanced We can make the keyboard small medium and large so let's go ahead and click on small and then jump back into the WhatsApp application to bring up the keyboard. So now you'll notice that the keyboard is most um, more centered on the screen here. You have borders here towards the side, so it's shrunk it inwards a little bit. Uh, let's jump back into settings, change it to medium, go back to WhatsApp, again bring up the keyboard. Now it's slightly bigger and let's do it one more time to change it back to large you'll notice it goes full screen this way all right and there it is now we have a full screen keyboard which takes up the whole uh, bottom real estate of the screen here uh, other settings here that we have as far as options again you can change the keyboard size show microphone button uh, you can make it show or not Switch back to the letters after I type in uh, emoticon. Always show language switching button in multiple languages. Uh, you can switch to uh, text cursor controller off, left-handed, right-handed. I have it to right-handed. And then there's obviously uh, improved suggestions here on the bottom. Uh, but that is all as far as options and settings. Let's go ahead and go back into the keyboard and let's bring it up here this is the microphone button that they were talking about on the settings here uh, if I click on it it will listen to my voice and type in whatever it is that I'm saying so let's go ahead and type something real quick it actually worked better on previous builds than on this one this one it's a hit and miss sometimes it works perfectly sometimes it doesn't hear me and it won't even go into listening mode uh, but let's go ahead and give it a try here Hey guys, I'm typing with the microphone on the Windows 10 Mobile Preview keyboard. And if I keep talking, it'll keep typing. So the only way to stop it is by clicking the uh, back button and it'll stop uh, listening. So it actually works really well when it does work. Um, 
you know however again there's times when it just won't activate uh, and then you have to close out the application you're using and then jump right back into the application and try it again uh, one of the other things that you can do with the keyboard here is uh, it actually has a cursor but it doesn't show up in all applications so let's go ahead and jump into word it usually jumps you can actually get this up uh, this feature on the app uh, the apps that are uh, texting apps and stuff like that uh, and office apps so let's go ahead and jump into word and see if it works we'll start we'll do this document here it's a blank page um, so let's go ahead and jump in here let's just delete all right and again now you can see the little cursor here um, which allows you to move and navigate through the words obviously let me zoom in real quick so you can either move around with your finger or you can simply use the cursor I think if you highlight a word you can actually highlight the whole thing and of course you can do, go up and down so if we hit enter type in again now we can go up to the top and to the bottom um, and yeah that's pretty much about it when it comes to keyboard uh, definitely some welcoming features uh, especially right-handed and uh, left-handed use that is something that I think a lot of uh, 1520 owners are going to appreciate and big screen owners uh, but anyway this was just a quick look at the keyboard here on Windows 10 mobile stay tuned for more don't forget to hit that like button subscribe Check out the website lifestylesdefined.com. Again, my name is Edgar. I'll see you guys next time.